Well, today is kind of an exciting day. It is my 32nd birthday on July 13th, 1989. I was born. I figured to, uh, it was time for a, a sale on my shop. Even though there's a cute, there are coupons that are always available. People don't use them very much. So we're just going to have a regular old sale. I've got the same problem that most soapers do, which is you make more soap than you can use or sell. So you end up just giving it away. But I figured let's have a sale and see how much I can get rid of if I can get rid of any. So when I upload new soaps to Etsy, which I have done today, I like to do a suds test for fun. It's just neat to see how each bar performs, even if you can't even tell a difference between each bar. And I like to talk about the why each bar is unique or special. So that has everything to do with ingredients usually. So my sale starting today and lasting until July 31st is you will get 15% off if you spend at least $19.89 because that's my birth year. You can spend more than that though if you want. So let's go bubble up some birthday bars. Well our first bar of soap here is the Almond Clove Oatmeal Honey and Turmeric Soap. So the special ingredients besides the oils is the Tessa Silk kaolin clay, powdered sugar, oatmeal, honey, turmeric, and some sodium lactate is also in here. Next we have our coconut milk and coffee soap. If you remember the video for this one, it had a terrible fragrance separation that I had to force into submission. But the special ingredients in this soap is we've got some kaolin clay, powdered sugar, coconut milk, and it is made with brewed coffee, which is why it's brown. Next we have a unscented honey soap. The special ingredients here is some kaolin clay, tussle silk, honey, turmeric, coconut milk, and oatmeal. And then made the same day, we have another unscented honey soap. This one's special ingredients are kaolin clay, tussle silk, goat milk, oatmeal, red sea salt, and honey, of course. This soap here is my sunflower soap. Hot process, just like the two before it. Special ingredients are buttermilk, kale and clay, powdered sugar, honey, tessa silk, sodium lactate, and activated charcoal for the black circles. It's important to have fun when you wash your hands. This soap here is an uncolored soap. The special ingredients are rose petal powder, kale and clay, sugar, and sodium lactate. This was a test batch for my new fragrance ice and fire. A very wonderful smell. Could be described as a masculine fragrance. See when you're washing your hands the bubbles can seem small. But just add a little water and they get huge. Big enough to play with. See that? Next we have my Terminator 2 soap. Special ingredients in this soap are pumice powder, rose petal powder, activated charcoal, and then a variety of different micas. Now the suds test on this one patriotic soap is going to involve two different soaps because they have identical ingredients but different fragrances. So the special ingredients here is we've got some kale and clay, some sugar, buttermilk, tussa silk, and activated charcoal. One is fragranced with cotton tree and the other is fragranced with lemongrass and green tea. Finally we have a soap here that has the soap shreds from the patriotic soap. This soap is called Pipe Orchid because it's got two fragrances, Santa's Pipe as well as Water Orchid. The special ingredients included are rose petal powder, buttermilk, kale and clay, sugar, sodium lactate, and activated charcoal. 